hi guys and girls welcome back welcome back and happy friday so i actually had to take off work today to do some self-care and oh it came up yay so i am actually gonna try new yoga for the first time with you guys unfortunately you guys will not be privy to have the video to be able to see the video but you guys will be able to hear the sound <laughs> of me working through these poses now if you guys caught my first yoga video that i did i think it was about a week ago i actually went through all 70 poses on my new yoga mat and oh my gosh you talking about treacherous yo it was so challenging but i did it and i felt so good afterwards and here i am for part two so this is a next session this is the second this is a session uh number two in my yoga series and i've always wanted to try out new yoga ever since i think when i first moved to new york city and this was back in 2014 years ago i just never done it i actually wanted to do it like communally with a group of people um so here i am i'm going to do it by myself but like i said unfortunately you guys will not be privy to see the video part but you guys will be able to get a chance to experience this with me at least by listening i think it's going to be very therapeutic very calming who knows what's going to happen, right? So I did just take a shower, a hot, warm shower. And I slipped on this dress for the purpose of, the purpose of this video. Um, and I am going to actually... I'm going to turn off the lights. Then I'm going to reposition my phone in a place that... It's inconspicuous where you guys will not be able to see the video. And I am going to take off this dress. I'm going to disrobe. And I'm actually going to saturate my body in this nice oil that I got. It's um, body oil by Empress that I ordered a couple weeks ago. And I actually did an unboxing of this the other day so um after i take off my dress i'm actually gonna do that i feel really comfortable now i actually could do the yoga now <laughs> wearing just what i'm wearing now because i don't have any undergarments on and it feels so relieving it's like i don't think people uh understand the therapeutic benefits of just freeing yourself and being in your natural state given that we're not really supposed to be wearing clothes i mean nudity has been unfortunately tainted it's been bastardized um so people are not able to appreciate us in our natural clothing which is in our skin in our skin only um so that's unfortunate but it, it is it feels very freeing and like i said it's very therapeutic and i'm actually gonna burn these incense it's palo Santo, uh incense during this video so this is a brand new box But yeah, people have demonized nudity, unfortunately. But I think at some point we'll be able to get back to it. And of course, there are like certain locations where people can free themselves, like certain beaches, certain spaces that they do nude yoga. And I actually believe that um, nude yoga is actually welcome on social media platforms like Facebook and YouTube. There are people who do nude yoga videos i am not going to go that far <laughs> unfortunately um who knows you never know i might <laughs> i might be able to but i think it would be a conflict um of interest for me to do so especially with my role now as a clinical psychologist but i am going to do it <laughs> without the video um so this is going to be interesting i'm ready just i'm ready to dive head first into this i'm not going to hold you guys oh reminds me i gotta 
set my background music. So I'm actually going to put this on the floor. I'm about to get things set up, you guys. So, ah, Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited to do this. temperature is outside it feels like it's like in the high 70s if not 80 degrees I definitely feel that here in New York City right now so after this yoga session I'm probably gonna grab some food because I have not had breakfast yet and then I'm probably gonna take a walk in the park and absorb some sun on my skin I'm about to set this background music. I actually had to block out my window because, like, you can see through my window in my neighborhood. You can see through it. So I had to block it out so that people walking by could not peer in my window as I'm doing this new yoga. I actually was going to do it at night, but... I wasn't, I'm just in the mood to go ahead and start it right now, so let me set this music. Alright. Oh. Feel free to share your comments below. Let me get this other light. with me but not really though <laughs> so I'm gonna have to flip the camera I'm gonna tuck you guys here but if you have comments you can feel free to share your comments below as I will be able to see your comments because I have another screen that I'll be looking at So I think after my last session, which I did not do a follow up with you guys to give an update on how I felt like hours and days after I did my first yoga session, but oh my gosh, I'm going to try to speak a little loudly so you guys can be able to hear me, given that I did have to tuck my phone away. Um... But boy, when I tell you, it was something else. I was like, my body was sore. So I went to work that Monday and my body was definitely sore. My legs, my arms, my entire body, I felt it. But I also felt like there was an energy release happening throughout my body days later after I did my first yoga session. And that encouraged me to continue doing it because I'm like, okay, something is happening metaphysically in my body, um, spiritually within my body, and that is motivating. I also felt like there were things that my body was holding on to, like waste that my body was holding on to. So the yoga actually served as a natural laxative. Believe it or not, <laughs> so there's so many benefits of doing yoga that I that were hidden that I didn't even know about. 
but it definitely had like laxative qualities in it. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to remove the stress and then I'm just going to oil my body down. And we'll start with the first pose. I will be reading you guys the names of the poses. As I progress through each one. And feel free for you guys who are joining me live. Feel free to share your comments or questions. Below. On one of my other videos someone asked me. What is playing in the background? And. It's one of my favorite songs. I don't see how you guys cannot hear it, but it's one of my favorite songs. Um, that's a good thing that you can't hear it, though, because I don't want it to be picked up too loudly. All right. Feels good to just be in a natural state. And at some point, there will be a time when I will be leaving the U.S. And I'm going to be going out in nature. So perhaps then, I'll actually be able to have the video on where you guys could join me. And just be able to appreciate my natural beauty in doing these yoga poses. But like I said, unfortunately, I actually had to block out the video part here in this session um, but I will be keeping the audio on so now I'm just preparing myself for it oiling my body massaging my muscles to loosen them up a bit And there are a lot of things, when you think about it, there are a lot of things that we do, like especially women do, that are in the nude. <laughs> I mean, birthing a baby, for example. And it's sad that people try to demonize something so natural as giving birth to a baby, but, you know, there are a lot of childbirth videos, you know, and it's in the nude, as it should be. A woman should not be ashamed. To just be in her natural state and neither should a man um, it's just that people don't know how to act unfortunately so it just kind of screws things up a little bit now I'm not gonna put any of my feet I thought about this but I'm not gonna put any of my feet because I need some grip and if I put this all on my feet I'm gonna be slipping and sliding <laughs> here on this mat so I'm not gonna put any on my I think with this second session, I definitely should be a little bit more open, more flexible, shall I say. Yeah, I fell in love with this oil on the first day. And so what I did just this week, just a couple days ago, I went on her back on her website and I ordered two more bottles. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Could not resist, yo. All right, so let's get into this. I'm gonna start with the first pose. It's an upward salute. I hate when they have these commercials. Ah. So I had to take a break. I had to take a break to skip the commercial. I feel like now I can really appreciate all of these poses even more. Not having any restricting garments that are, are inhibiting my movements. All right, the next 
next one is mountain. And you guys can feel free to Google these poses since you can't unfortunately see. Alright, the next one is the goddess squad. I actually love this one. I love my body, y'all. <laughs> you guys ever just sit in the mirror and just look at yourself like, oh my gosh, I am so sexy. <laughs> All right, the next one is prayer. Next one is chair. I think that these poses are in the order where you can transition to the next one seamlessly. When I was getting ready to take a shower, I thought about um, getting a, a scale. I need one. I know I gain weight. I definitely know I gain weight because I've been eating so good, but I'm definitely going to have to invest in a scale because I'm, I'm going to lose 15 to 20 pounds. That's my goal. My goal is to lose 15 to 20 pounds in the next, um, what's reasonable? The next three months? To lose 15 to 20 pounds. Tree pose. Standing on one leg. Alright. Eagle pose. This one was the one that was kind of weird where my legs were crossed and my ankles. My legs are crossed and your ankles are like crossed, like wrapped around. It's weird. Stand. And then arms are crossed the same way. A string. And somewhat semi squatted. Alright, next one is extended side angle. This is a lunge. Yo, it's a, I think it's these poses, like the ones where you're really stretching your body, are the ones that have the most effect. And you definitely can feel it days later if you haven't done it in a while. Next one is Warrior Two. Arms out, lunging. For you guys who are joining, I do have the video off because for obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, next one is warrior three. All right, there are three warrior poses. So the next one is a warrior three. I actually like this one. The ones I like, I hold a little bit longer. Warrior. I like 
like this one too. Some of these I like so much, I like to switch it up and do it on both sides. I'm gonna switch up and do this one on my other side, on my other leg. Little lunch. All right, low lunge variation. All right, let's see how far my back leg comes up, given that. The first time I did this, <laughs> I was barely able to capture it. Ugh. I think, yo, I think I need a padding for my knee when I'm kneeling. I'm going to use one of my pillows. Much better. Hope I'm not cheating. Next one is the runner's lounge. This is number 15 out of 70. Pretty straightforward. a rag doll. I like this one. Standing up and all the way over. I think her legs are closer together. Her feet are closer together. All right. Standing forward bend. So this should, this pose, the standing forward bend, I think actually helps to strengthen the ragdoll pose because the way she is in the ragdoll pose her head is much closer to the front of her legs like probably a couple inches apart um, I'm not quite there yet but this uh, standing for Ben where Well, it looks like she's pulling on the back of her leg. I think so. Pulling them closer to help with the pose. Uh, all right. Next one is a wide leg for Ben. And I swear at these poses, it's like exercise. So I'm beginning to sweat. And, oh gosh, I don't have my AC on right now. I do have bottles of water on standby though. But I think I'm going to have to turn on my AC. All right. Wide leg forward bend. Her head is like all the way touching the ground. Revolve wide leg bend. One hand up to the sky. 
still bending forward. I think they actually have co-ed nude yoga classes too. Like I said, I first discovered the nude yoga here in New York. I've never been, but I've always thought about going. And when I discovered it, I was actually in a relationship with this guy. He didn't even like the idea, but he was very jealous too. He didn't like the idea. And I gave him a sense of ownership of me in a way. So he tried to dictate what I could and couldn't do. Though I allowed him to, to a certain, to a certain extent. Um, right, where am I? Revolve wide leg bend. And switch arms. It's another thing. It's, sometimes it's better just to be single. I've, Oh, there are so many benefits to singlehood um, or dating someone who is supportive of you. All right, the next pose is actually sitting. Uh, I might do another session, um, not of nude yoga, but a regular yoga session this Sunday. Tomorrow I have a couple of events to go to, but on Sunday I think I'm going to come back and do a, my third yoga session with you guys. <sighs> Alright, wide angle seated bend. Uh, I wonder how far am I? I know when I took ballet, we had a way where we can like mark our progress on the floor to see how far we're able to bend forward. Um, uh, but it feels like I've made some progress compared to my first session that I did last week. All right. Um, pyramid, back up on my feet. Hi right, guys, for you guys who are tuning in, feel free to share your location, where you're watching from. All right, pyramid. I like this pose. legs on that one. Alright, next one is bound angle. Back on the floor. In almost Indian style. But feet together. Grabbing feet. Sitting upright. These yoga poses also help to, I think, build confidence and confident self-esteem and posture. Flexibility, of course. Next one, bound angle bend. Now I'm going to be so flexible after a few weeks. I believe it. If I like, I'm very consistent with this. I'm going to try to do it at least twice a week. And then I'm going to increase the frequency to like three times a week. Maybe four, we'll see. <laughs> All right, seated forward bend. All 
Alright, you guys hear knocking. Someone is doing construction nearby. So that's why. Actually, I think I'm making progress with um, being able to touch my toes. Leaning forward. I can touch my toes. <laughs> I actually can touch more than my toes. I can put my fingers over my toes and touch my bottom of my feet. How about that? <laughs> All right. Next one is head to knee. I think I'm almost ready for a sip of my water. I'm gonna wait until I'm like halfway through with these poses to grab a sip. I'm gonna switch and do my other knee. I like this pose. Switch. I like it so much I almost fell over. <laughs> is revolve triangle I'm trying to see how are her legs uh, okay I think I got it it's crisscross Half moon, all right, fancy leg up. I was able to lift my leg uh, 45 degrees, not quite 90. Poses are so challenging. All right, that was the revolve half move, half moon attempted. Revolve low lounge. Another pose that I actually like. a lot of poses. I'm really challenging myself. <sighs> All right. Thread the needle. All right. I gotta, I'm not halfway done. I'm almost there. I'm like, how many poses? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, 29. This is the 30th one. So I definitely need water. And it is, what time is it? Is it 2? Two? 2.01 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I've not eaten yet. I do have some nuts though, I mean. 
take a mini break. As I did before, it's okay to take a little break, right? I'm not eating breakfast. If I feel like I don't put something in my body, I'm gonna pass out. Let's continue. Thread the needle. Another one that I like. Recline twist, lying down. Like crossed over, body twisted the opposite way of my leg. I swear, doing this yoga makes me want to jump in the pool right now. shows you how out of shape you are doing yoga <laughs> and it definitely shows you how much weight you gotta lose <laughs> going forward all right next one is camel i think the last time i did the camel pose i could not touch the both of my feet. I had to do one at a time. It's like, it's an awkward pose, bending over backwards. It's like a back bend almost, but you're on your knees, touching your feet. Oh my gosh, why can't I do this? <laughs> All right, one at a time. It's hard. One at a time. Mm. All right. Pigeon. Another awkward one. This is kind of like the other pigeon pose, but you're grabbing your foot behind your back with one foot in front bent, the other one you're grabbing behind your back. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't think I can, Ugh. Ow. Like, 
How in the hell? <sighs> Maybe by session 10 I'll be able to do it. This is like therapy, I swear. This therapy definitely is a process. And it can be very painful. what's going on with my connection. section is back all right where was I okay the bow I think I was able to do the bow last time let's see Ugh. I kind of like this one notice I like all the ones that I can do but no, that one also reminds me of a BDSM pose. Doing it again. All right. Next one is the upward bow. More like a back bend. Which I tried doing last time. And I struggled with it. start on the floor and then uh, I feel like I can do it but my hands are kind of slippery because of the body oil not to make an excuse but listen I don't want to break my freaking neck okay so what I'll do is I'll do a half back bend on one side stretch and I switch to the other side Alright, next time I'll make sure I'll wipe off my hand. Alright, what's the next one? I am sweating. I do want to turn on my AC, but I don't want to freaking get too cold either. I gotta get some water. Alright. Next one is the bridge. Another one that I actually like. Uh. Ow! Why is it that when I do these poses, I got a cramp on my freaking foot? Same thing happened. 
happened last time. My freaking foot began to cramp. Alright, next one is a lotus. Oh, I'm actually over halfway done. Yay! <laughs> Alright, next one is the lotus. And my foot is still cramping. <sighs> Actually, after this, I think I want to get me a full body massage. Because I need one. Alright. The next one is the cobra. The, the question is, is like where to get it at? Because, yo, these freaking Asian people, I, I used to love them and all that, but they be slipping at these massage parlors. I think because they be getting kind of cocky. And used to getting customers coming in on a regular basis that the quality of their service is depleting. So they be answering the phone while you're giving you a massage. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to be answering the phone while you're giving a massage. They be talking over you. Like, nah, dog. Mm -mm, I'm not paying you to be sitting here talking over me. That's disrupting the whole process. The whole flow of things. Alright, this next one is the Cobra. Like a snake. <laughs> All right. Next one is upward facing dog. Another one that I like. Next one is the cow. Or the dog as I call it. Looks <laughs> like a dog. Dolly style pose. Next one is a cat. Oh my gosh. Next one is the crow. And I want to be able to do this too. It's, it's like... Uh, Supporting your weight on your hands. I think I'm going to save that pose. Alright. Some of these poses I think I'm going to pass on this time. Um, that way I feel like I can increase my efficiency of the beginner poses. By not forcing myself to do the moderate and intermediate or intermediate and advanced poses. Um, and just focusing on the ones that I can do, right? So I can build up to those points. Alright, next one is a plank. I think I can do that. Side plank. See, I think side plank, that's more advanced. Upward plank. I think I can handle that one. I'm sweating. Okay, I think I'm going to turn on my AC, y'all. <sighs> the poses where I have to support my body weight on my freaking hands, y'all, that's an exercise by itself. I can feel it. Shit is hard. Alright, I'm going to skip those poses where... And I'll let you guys know which ones I skip. Um... So the upper plank I just did. Standing yoga still. Next one is the dolphin. Wait, did I skip? Hold 
dolphin, okay. Next one is the downward facing dog. Next one is the fish pose. I like the fish pose too. Very simple. I think I want to get these poses um, copied on something else so I can see it. So I don't have to like continue to have to look down at the mat. Next one is the plow. I actually like the plow pose. Ugh. I think this is a sex pose. next next one is a shoulder stand maybe after I do it so many times I can remember these poses my heart and then when I commit them to memory, I can just do them naturally, not even thinking, mindlessly. Mindlessly and mindfully. Like, I can just be standing on the train doing a yoga pose. It just comes out of nowhere. I can be sitting at my desk, just automatically transitioning into a yoga pose. Or maybe even leading one of my therapy groups. Transition into a yoga pose. <laughs> Before I know it, I'll turn the whole therapy group into yoga. It's funny, I did ask my patients, like, would they be open to doing yoga? And they said, yeah, some, actually some, not all, but some said they would be open to it. Alright, next one is a headstand. This is my dream pose that I want to be able to do. Ah. <sighs> Alright, not today. <laughs> Next one is a lotus. My body said, uh uh, not today, baby. Not today. <sighs> Granted, this is session number two. one is the fish pose. I'm going to ring on my doorbell. I'm doing my own variation. Some of these. fish pose uh, mm, 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 mm. all right next one is the plow wait there are two plow poses okay no sorry next one is uh I'm so sorry, you guys. I did the same thing I did before. This is what happens when you're reading from the mat. All right. So I did the lotus. After the lotus was the garland. Now I'm doing the hero pose. 
So I have to read upside down. Uh, stretch my muscles, they're so tight. self one of my favorite Just Indian style so this is a pose where I can concentrate on my posture the energy flowing up and down my spine I'm going to hold this pose for a couple of minutes. You can't see me? Of course you can't. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see me. Not until after I finish these poses, I'll do a follow-up. Even though they have new new yoga videos like on uh, YouTube, I doubt that if I get on here nude, <laughs> they will allow that shit. When a black person does it, they want to scream, oh, violating community standards shit. They don't let it fly. It does sometimes. But white women can get on here and do new yoga and it's the next one next one is cow face oh my gosh I remember this one oh good I think I made some progress with this one all right so this is I'm so excited this is the cow face and this is the one where it's sitting. The legs are crossed. And my arm, I'm trying to grab my fingers behind my back. And I'm actually able to touch my fingers. Not grab them, but I'm able to touch them. Yay! <laughs> I guess it's working. I'm so excited. Oh, I can touch my fingers. Yes! <laughs> Making progress. <laughs> yes, honey, yes. Some progress is better than none. I'm sorry? No. The hell? Exterminator. Yeah, I'm doing new yoga. You try my trying to exterminate my permit. No, sweetheart. No. <laughs> All of a sudden, how convenient the exterminator wants to come when I'm doing new yoga. All right, next one is the seated staff pose. We're almost done. I think we're down to the last 10 poses. <sighs> All right. And even if I wasn't doing new yoga, I wouldn't even want them to come and spray anything in my apartment because I think that attracts bugs. Like, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? I don't have any pests. I don't have any of that stuff in my place. Nothing. Thankfully. If I did, I wouldn't be in this building. <laughs> I would not be here if I did. Alright, the next one is the bolt. Uh, uh. I think I'm getting better with this one too because I'm able to hold it a little bit longer. 
The next one is the frog. Another one that I like. I'm going to be a pro at this. Just watch. Feet are actually pointed outward. There we go. This is like child birth pose. <laughs> All right. Which I heard that doing yoga on a regular basis leading up to um, the birth of your child as a woman can help. All right. The next one is. Legs up the wall, lying down. Like I made progress with this pose too. Alright. Down to the last five. The next one. I didn't skip that many though. So the only ones I skip, I skip the side plank. Um I didn't skip that many actually. I don't feel bad now. I think I only skip like one or two poses. I even attempted um uh, where is that one at? Did I, oh I even attempted the, the crow. I did I did skip the side plank and I skipped the low plank. But I didn't skip that many. Alright, the next one is happy baby. I think I made some progress with this one too. Becoming more flexible. Compare it to the first time. BDSM pose. That wasn't me, guys. <laughs> that was just my back. It was like air coming from the mat. But it would be really nice to let out some gas out of my buttocks if I had some. I don't have any gas. So I haven't eaten. Um, all right, the next one is extended child's pose. Another one that I like. Is I like my natural scent, especially given that I don't wear deodorant. 
uh, deodorant that most people wear it has a lot of toxins in it and it's not good for your overall health especially for women Next one is Child's Pose. <clears throat> and then the last pose, my favorite one is the corpse. Grab my dress. Uh. Yes, I feel so good. Once again, so happy I started doing yoga. I don't regret it at all. the end. Yes. Oh, great. All right, let me grab you guys. Let me grab you guys. Flip the camera. I didn't want to flip at first. I was like, what's happening here? All right. It is definitely a workout. People who practice yoga know, especially when you're just starting. I feel so good. It's crazy how just a few body movements and stretches can make you feel like you just completed a full workout in the gym. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm about to wrap this up because I definitely want to just wallow in this wonderful feeling that I have right now throughout my body. Physically and psycho spiritually. Feels so good. I'm gonna definitely get me some nourishments. Considering I have not broke my fast yet. I don't know what I want to order. But I do need to start changing my diet given that <sighs> your girl eat pretty healthy, right? 
When I say healthy, I mean like <laughs> hearty. I eat, I eat, eat. Um, I love food. I like the taste of food. I like the way it feels in my mouth, the way it feels going down my esophagus, the way my body just breaks it down, digests it. I just like the way, every part of it, even when I'm shitting, I like that part too <laughs> of eating food. Yeah, I, like, I just love food. Um, but I realized that obviously as I age, as women age, our metabolism does slow down. So I know some people will look at me and say, oh, well, girl, stop. You're not fat. I've never said I was fat, but I am recognizing. I'm very attuned to myself to see that there are areas in my body that I have picked up weight. Okay. Um, even like in my stomach, you guys see, I do this sometimes and I just recognize that, yeah, there's some excess fat. There's excess. It doesn't really need to be here, but it's there. And I guess maybe it could serve a purpose, right? Let's say we had a drought, then yeah, I wouldn't die right off because I can have some reserves here. <laughs> Even in my buttocks, I have some reserves. As I was doing the yoga, I'm noticing like there are certain positions, especially with the squats, that yeah, I see that my my butt is taking a different form um, in a good way. And there is some meat back there, and it's meat in my arms. It's, you know, I'm kind of meaty throughout my body, even my legs, yo. I compared to like my shape and form that I had like growing up as a little girl. I was skinny, yo. I was skin and bones. Um, I wasn't like anorexic skinny, but I was like I was skinny. But I did get to a point um where I was kind of like anorexic skinny, where my my um, colleague, my roommate at the time when I was in college, this was like later on, obviously, um, where, yeah, I was like really, really hyper focused on my body image. <laughs> and with that comes like, you know, this fixation on what I eat, what you eat or what you're not, what you're not eating. And yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't getting the proper nutrition I was like starving myself on purpose and so I had lost like a lot of weight and my roommate was like girl you is skinny <laughs> you need to eat but I think I've always had like that kind of relationship love hate relationship um when it came to like food and what I put in my body and I want to say love hate that's hate is a strong word but it's just like this awkward kind of dynamic that I've had with food, just kind of awkward relationship with food that I had like my entire life. And I, you know, even as a little girl, and I'm going to say this, and I'm definitely going to have to end this video because I am tired. I'm exhausted from the yoga. Um, it takes a lot from you, but it gives you so much when you do yoga. So like, yeah, as a little girl, like I, like I said, I was skinny. I wasn't like anorexic skinny like growing up in grade school or elementary. That didn't happen until I got to college um, where I had this period of time where I was just like tripping out. Um, but yeah, my mom, I remember like in elementary school, she would have to get me like insurance because I wouldn't eat. And I thought, I thought I was fat. I was like, I'm fat and I was so freaking skinny. And even, um... Yoga, yo, I, I feel like those positions, it's the science behind those positions. It has to be because when you do them, it releases endorphins. It releases hormones in your brain that make you feel good. Probably even dopamine. I feel like, I definitely feel endorphins being released. Um, but maybe some dopamine too has been released when you're doing yoga and you just, uh, it's, it's like exercise, right? um like the runner's high so to speak but yeah it's crazy because when you're exercising like it's more cardio and you're actually really working out and moving your body right where yoga is stationary so it just it's amazing to see like how you're transitioning doing different yoga poses and you're not really going anywhere but you're moving things in your body that is releasing energy positive energy throughout your body so and it has like a long lasting effect not just like immediate in the moment but long lasting for days and weeks so i'm, I'm loving it but 
yeah it's been interesting an interesting journey in my life i can't share too much here in this video but i talk about it do i do talk about like different phases in my life and things that i struggle with developmentally growing up and even in high school y'all had a period where i was just not eating <laughs> yeah i was only eating like fig newtons and and celery like weird shit yo trying to lose weight and i was skinny like i look like i look now of course i had a, i think i didn't have natural hair though when i was um like a junior not junior sorry um a freshman and a sophomore in high school um i had like long perm hair like long bone straight hair past my shoulders and i was very thin like model yeah and people looked at me like i was a model they would always compliment me and say oh you're so beautiful i didn't have all of this and yet and still i was just like really fixated like just on my body image and yeah i went through that period of eating like those those little is it called fig newtons if i'm saying it right those little snacks like fruit flavored uh kind of bread snacks and i was eating that only with celery i would eat like a pack like a small pack of those i think maybe a little four like four of those things maybe came in a pack i can't remember and then like a couple of things of celery and now it was it for the entire day and just drink a whole bunch of <laughs> it's so much pressure i laugh because it's just like okay would i do that now i'm laughing like hell no would not do that now because i like food too much but um it's not a laughing matter though when it comes to the pressures that a lot of young people face like that's one of the things that i was struggling with one of many things that i was struggling with as a teenager coming up was i yeah this pressure just to be thin thin was in back in the day now thick is in <laughs> you see how that works it's funny that's the irony to it now thick is in. everybody want to get ass and want to get hips and all that but back then in the day being thin was in um for even for black girls right was it was it was the end thing to to be thin if you weren't like you were looked at like you fat even if you was just you know what was my height my height was like always been like five eight five nine like once i reached middle school high school and my weight was oh shit i was like 120 pounds like 125 that was like the golden size right to be like five eight five nine one twenty five now <laughs> i'm still the same height but i think that's i'm gonna go get a scale last time i weighed myself i think i was like 170 a girl was that yeah with myself at my dad's house because he had a scale and this was back last year i think it was what was it october i think 2021 when i went there to visit I got on my dad's scale and I was like 165. Like I was pushing 170. I'm like, damn, <laughs> I gotta lose weight, yo. And imagine if I get pregnant, your girl would be like, because they say you pick up like at least 25, 30 pounds when you're pregnant. If I'm already like 165, 170, that's like 100 and that's, yo, that's whoa. Uh -uh. So I, I said this to say that, yes, yeah, like I feel like yoga is raising my consciousness raising my awareness self-awareness to my body again um as if i don't i'm, I'm all, not already self-aware but even more self-aware of my body and of course what i put into my body what i eat but that's hard when you're a foodie <laughs> it's so hard yeah especially being in new york city that's even harder i think it'd be much easier like let's say if i was in la because la ain't got shit on new york food um selection but it's hard being in a city like new york city with so much food variety um and then calling yourself going on a diet yo but i think it's just getting past like that first couple days in the first week and once you get that in you're good to go and if i had like an accountability partner see that's what i need i need some new friends all right i already kind of got rid of some of my old friends plus my so-called best friend i dead in that shit y'all i'm done with that relationship it's just so much in the past i feel like it's not beneficial to me and as you like ascend up the ladder as you rise in your spiritual journey yeah it reveals that not that those people are bad people certain people in your life are bad people it's just that 
they don't vibrate, right? You're not resonating with them, right? They're not on you. They should not be on your path any longer. And they're holding you back. And it's time for a new face of friends, a new selection of friends. And so I'm welcoming that. I'm calling for that. And I'm putting that out in the universe. And I'm opening my space for that right now. This day going forward. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to share your comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.